just had a bunch of stuff arrive. Our new storage cases for the trailer. These are a lot bigger than I was expecting. Oh man. Cool, man. Wow. <laughs> These are huge. I wanted to get more permanent containers for the trailer, ones that were stout and that I hopefully won't have to replace. So, decided to do military surplus. These things are huge. They're way bigger than the measurements I thought I read, but who knows? There's really no way of knowing at this point. But I think, dude, they might be able to go, yeah, this way. Then you still have room for stuff on the side. You could probably fit another one. Otherwise, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to fit two side by side. There you go. The solar generator and battery tray will fit right in here, and it stops about right where this hole is. So this is about where it'll be, maybe another inch back. They're fitting pretty well. Two huge containers maximizing the space. 10 different clamps holding them down. They're really on there. You have to see what we just found out. Check this out, watch. Secret storage Boom. compartment. Probably not a secret, but extra storage nonetheless. Pretty cool feature. I think it still keeps it waterproof. Yeah, there's built-in seal. These things are heavy duty. Is this a tent? I think so, that's small. It's a pup tent to go on top of Jade. You could just buy a rooftop tent or you could just do it differently and use a pup tent. With the windshields down, we're gonna need some goggles. The wind blows right in your eyeballs. Eventually, you're gonna crash if you know you can't see. So, we need goggles. Ben, do they fit over the glasses? That was the big question. Just barely. I have to put my glasses in before I even put them on, but they fit. Dude, you are ready for a sandstorm, brother. Here, let's do a test. All right, man. All right, come here, Abby. No, I don't. There's rocks in there. Probably, that wouldn't be good. Hey, just grab some sand. All right, I'll grab sand. Okay. Blow it to the side of you. Okay. How'd it go? Nothing. Nothing? I see everything. Okay, perfect. We're good. They passed the test. Looks right. great. Ready? All right, three, two, one. I'm not gonna throw rocks in my face, but uh, I think these are gonna work pretty well. Sand, snow, whatever it may be, it's coming out your face. Now I can see. <laughs> it rhymed, it rhymed, How many latches, man? Lots of latches. I picked up some Mickey Mouse boots. They are called, I believe, for 20 bucks at the same military store, Coleman's. They even have directions on them so you know how to put them on. That's pretty cool. I love the army, man. <laughs> you're all set. You look like you're ready to survive a nuclear I'm attack survive. in Antarctica. <laughs> Middle of building the bumper, and Tyler stopped over, one of Don's friends. I met the dude uh, when I first got here as well. Cool guy. Awesome CJ7. And now, his recent new overlanding trailer build, which he's shown us. First thing I noticed, the approach angle and back, having the tire towards the rear. That approach angle is amazing. Gives me some ideas. <laughs> so he just said 80% of his project is salvage stuff that he cobbled together. Oh, very cool. And, we're, and we've been doing that quite a bit. It's a Harbor Freight um, trailer frame that I picked up here in town that was used for practically nothing. The fenders are off of an old car dolly that I had. The tires are off, the old tires off of this. Awesome. The wheels are off of a buddy of mine had a Cherokee that he sw switched from the stock wheels to aftermarket stuff so he gave those to me. The basket rack is off of an old pickup truck that I had. Really the only things that I purchased for this project were the traction uh, mats, whatever you want to call them, the tent and the awning on the cargo net. That is so awesome. That's pretty fat. Fat is what we like.
that's the idea. I just gotta take off this rear tail light. And we'll be able to carry double the fuel and water.